In this video, we'll share the top 15 things to do in Delft. At number one, we have the Niue Kirk. Translated as the new church, this magnificent structure is located on the bustling Mark Square. Although it's called the new church, it dates back to the 1300s and was completed in 1496, boasting a towering bell tower that stands at an impressive 108 meters high. The church serves as the final resting place for Dutch royalty, including William the Silent. At number two, we have the Koninklijke Porcelain FLEs. This is the only remaining Delft Blue Pottery Factory from the 17th century. Visitors can witness the centuries-old art of hand-painting earthenware. The Royal Delft Experience Tour is highly recommended for those looking to delve deep into the history and craft of the iconic blue and white pottery. At number three, we have the Oud Kirk. Constructed in 1246, the old church, or Oud Kirk, is not significantly older than its new counterpart. It features a distinct leaning tower that stands at 75 meters tall, with a beautiful exterior combining brick and stone, adorned with stained glass windows. Inside, visitors can admire three ornate pipe organs and a series of high vaulted ceilings. At number four, we have the Prinsenhof. This museum offers a wealth of information about the Dutch Golden Age, William the Silent, and Delft pottery. Originally a palace for the prince, it marks the location where William the Silent was assassinated in 1584. The museum houses a collection of paintings, including works from Vermeer and a permanent exhibition showcasing the impact of Delft citizens on the country. At number five, we have the Delft City Hall. Located on the marked square, the City Hall is a masterpiece of architecture with a beautiful facade featuring intricate stonework, red shuttered windows, and impressive stone statues. Its central tower proudly displays the symbol of Delft above the main entrance. At number six, we have the Oostpoort. This gatehouse, constructed in the 1400s, was once one of the main entrance points into Delft. It serves as a reminder of the city's military glory and is accessible by a bridge, offering a fantastic photographic opportunity with canals on either side. At number seven, we have the Delft Canals. The city is home to a network of picturesque canals that visitors can explore. The canals are lined with beautiful trees and typical Dutch architecture, providing a delightful backdrop for a leisurely walk or boat tour. At number eight, we have the Mark Square. This central square is a hub of activity, hosting regular markets and events. It's home to the City Hall and Newway Kirk, offering a glimpse into the local culture and history of Delft. At number nine, we have Molen de Roos. This windmill, built in 1679, is the last remaining windmill in Delft. It was originally used as a corn mill and has undergone various restoration works to maintain its structure and ease its tilt. At number 10, we have the TU Botanical Garden. Nestled in the grounds of the Technology University of Delft, the garden is a haven for nature lovers, showcasing a mesmerizing array of tropical and subtropical plants, herbs, and several greenhouses. At number 11, we have the canal boat trip. With Delft's extensive network of canals, a boat trip offers a unique perspective of the city. Various tour operators offer guided tours, providing insights into the history of Delft and its canals. At number 12, we have Wilhelmina Park. This beautifully maintained park, created in the 1930s, offers a tranquil escape from the city with its lakes, lawns, and numerous hiking and cycling trails. At number 13, we have the Basin Marked. This square offers a quieter alternative to the bustling marked square, surrounded by charming buildings and tall trees. It's a perfect spot for a coffee break or a casual meal. At number 14, we have a day trip to The Hague. Given its proximity to Delft, a visit to The Hague, the political center of the Netherlands, is highly recommended. The city boasts attractions like the Maduro Dam Model City, the Peace Palace, and the Royal Binnenhof and Rittersaal Court. At number 15, we have the cycle tour through Midden Delftland. The region offers stunning natural landscapes and a myriad of cycling trails for enthusiasts to explore the countryside and the city of Delft. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Delft. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.